Okay, so I am just going to intuitively speak and go with the flow of what I feel got it to speak on and kind of talk about. I know one of the main things that Spirit wants me to focus on right now is children. Now, this takes place in different areas. I feel strongly that that's my confirmation that gives me the energy of I heard in my head chaotic but then I heard excitement as well so maybe someone someone could be celebrating something someone's birthday just recently um, was celebrated a child's birthday or a child's birthday is coming up if this is the case then this message is for you but this message is also a collective message as well at this time, it is important to pay attention to your children. Pay attention to how your children are behaving and acting at this time. If your children have been um, acting out of the norm or a little more violent or I am hearing angry as well, like emotions just have been kinda all over the place recently. There could be something energetically going on with your home space. Um, I don't know if this is pertaining to something that's chaotically going on within the home or if this is an energy. You should trust your intuition on this. It could be both. I'm more than positive it's both because anything that happens and manifests on the physical, it must first manifest on the spiritual. There is also a need to watch your children closely when they are out playing outdoors playing if you typically allow your children to go outside by themselves and um let them play um spirit is urgent for you to not do this at this time frame because again it is some type of energy that is going on um the color orange could be significant for someone right now there is an energy that is going on at this current time and I keep getting these dream downloads of like the children are not safe and I find this is tying into like governmental things things that the government have are trying to play out I feel like a lot of children have been and will continue to go missing at this time and this is due to governmental affiliations they create these um, groups I am hearing where these people go out and basically um, recruit children not even like i wouldn't even say the words recruit because they're kidnapping them um they're kidnapping them and then recruiting them to other people so i guess in a way yeah um There is something going on with the military at this time as well. Something um, significant about the military that people are needing to pay attention to at this time. I'm also hearing something about Britain and France. Something's going to go on in France. Um, I feel like it's going to be some type of natural disaster or something may blow up or some type of terrorist attack. Some, something is coming up soon. Also, if someone may have a, like, allow their child to, like, spend a night over other people's house or a family member's house, um, it is important for you to watch your child around the family. If your child have been acting out or acting different when they come back from this family member house, it is, uh, it's important for you to pay attention to that. And your intuition is right on what you've been feeling as well. Um, I know that a lot of, at this time, a lot of parents, or I would say I'm picking up more on feminine energy, so the divine feminine um, may be feeling like this at this time. A lot of mothers are currently going through these cycles where I feel like energetically we are being healed as a collective within our heart space and also um, our nurturing skills as well. There's a, there's a highlight being put on our nurturing skills. So at this time, you could see that you have a lot more patience than what you used to have um, dealing with your children.
Um, I am also being called to highlight postpartum, anyone going through postpartum at this time. For those of you who have been wondering if you should seek help, yes, you should, especially if you've been having like intrusive thoughts and things like that. Um, a lot of times I know that that has to do with the spiritual level as well. A lot of times we are being spiritually attacked to act out these like violent impulsive acts, whether it's um, committing suicide or whether it's um, committing suicide and homicide as well, meaning that you are taking not only yourself but others out with you as well. Um, again highlighting real heavily on children so pay attention to this as well and know that these are spiritual attacks being thrown at you at this time and it is important for you to pay attention to this get a hold of this so that you can then know how to beat the energy um, start doing research look into things that you need to look into anybody dealing with that as well if you have any questions you can drop them down in the comments and i'll try to get them answered for you guys as well for anyone wanting to know more information about this. I feel like there is some type of attack, like I, there is an attack on our financial space as well. Um, I actually heard this from another reader, so it's funny that Spirit is re bringing this up to me. For someone, if you've been wondering, should you go? I don't know if this is traveling somewhere. This answer is yes. Someone is wondering, should they make some type of move or actual move? The answer is yes. If you've been wondering if you're going to get approved for like a car, I'm hearing, um, the answer is yes. The color green is significant here as well. This could be someone's birthstone, a favorite color. Or someone could be wearing green at this time. Boots are significant. It's just heavy emphasis on children right now. They are needing us at this time because we are the one to lead them to become the next generation that is then going to put forth the energy for their, for their next generation. So it's like Spirit is wanting us to be mindful of the things that we are installing in them at this time and making sure that we are breaking as much generational crisis as we can so that they can then um, grow up to have... Um, better lives as well. Start teaching them things that they need to know about the real world now. Don't sugarcoat. Spirit is saying this is not the time to be trying to protect them from knowledge or information that they need to know. If your children have been someone specifically, a, a, a boy, um, I see a boy around the ages of six to ten, have been asking questions, or this, this little boy, he's very intuitive. A lot of you have children that are very gifted. Start paying attention to that as well. Your children are telling you things. Your, t your children have messages for you from your ancestors. Start listening and paying attention. Don't feel like you can't learn from your children because we can. If anything, they are the teachers. We have been installed bullshit our whole lives. They come fresh and it's like we're trying to install bullshit on them. Allow them to be the teacher sometime. Allow them to be in control at times. Like we have this constant battle we're trying to fight back and forth between who's going to take control or be in control and at times it's okay to allow your child to teach you things. For It's okay for you to be you know in the student position at times. It's a little boy I'm seeing as well. This is this little boy is younger. He cries when he gets ready to go with um, a certain parent or grandparent figure. They are wanting you to pay attention to this as well and start respecting your children's boundaries whenever they're not wanting to go somewhere. Um, start respecting and also asking questions on why because it's something there that you're not seeing or that you're missing.
music is significant as here as well. Someone could be listening to music at this time. Again, Spirit is focusing back on governmental things that is going on at this time. It's very important to, when you're out in public, to make sure you're paying attention to your children. Again, it is a heavy attack on our, on the kids right now. They're harvesting, they're trying to take these children and harvest them. And it's like they are running out of resources and food supply, I'm hearing. So they are, at this time, about to be like snatching children, literally. Um have been doing this already it's been so many um kids coming up missing and if y'all pay attention it always happen around a certain time of the year like it's almost like a, re a repeat of type of thing i also got to download them doing active spell work on the masses like these occult groups are, are actually doing um rituals on us like do y'all understand what i'm saying they are practicing and actually doing rituals on us. And so, in a lot of these rituals are succeeding. Spirit is wanting us to start fighting back. Anyone who know how to do candle work or know how to protect yourself in the spirit realm, it is a need for you to do this. It is a need for you to actively um, do protection rituals and spells because they're doing them. So it's like we either fight back or get defeated. That's just the energy that it's in right now. It's a spiritual warfare and you either fight back or be defeated. And it's funny because I have had so many dreams of them ciphering my energy, attacking me, attacking me, attack after attack after attack. And I have realized that I have most recently in my dream state, whenever I started back picking up on my candle works and stuff, I noticed that in my astral state, when I'm sleeping, I am fighting back actively as well. I am getting stronger and more powerful. I'm able to fight back against these energies and they hate it. And so it's like, again, you either be a bliss to what's going on or you take acknowledgement and heed to what's being said and actively do something to fight back these energies. There's warfare going on in the Femi Dynamics as well. I think that that is all that I have for the collective. For those who this resonate with, take what does, leave what doesn't. But there's always something here that could be taken with you. And at some point, you might resign in the future. So take heed to that as well. Love and light.